And yeah, right now I am pumping gas, fueling up for today's excursion. Here's the gas price right here in California. Question of the day is this. I wanna know where you guys are from, where you're at, and how much gas is where you're at. For us here, it is $3.50, which is really low for us. I'm really happy to see that because that's our winter blend. Summertime, it gets close to five bucks. So that's that. Question of the day, where are you from and how much is gas where you're at? That's an interesting one. Good everybody, so we got here to the OC Open Market. I was recommended to come check it out. And uh, yeah, I've heard really great things. Uh, one of the vintage owners at one of the other places that I shop at, he's like, yo, I got a new store. Will you come check it out? And I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So. Should we look through here real quick? Let's, why, why not? Let's see what they got. Well, the, the wash on these boys. The benefit of like just buying straight from people who source it is you don't have to look as hard. You know, you can pretty much always. Wow, look at these. Custom. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's sized. 29 waist. 29. Ooh, the trucker. All right, guys, I think I found one of my new favorite places. Vintage spots all over. Like, we turned the corner and... Oh. Dang. Hey, okay. That is gas. Right, the fade on there is... It's a large, oh, it Bro, <laughs> Bro, I think I might it need to try it. If you don't want it, no, only no, if you don't want it. Okay, let's put it up to the side. Look. I even need to be XL. I mean, it might fit me, but it's not gonna fit me like I want it to. I feel it. All right, so let's put this yeah. off to the side here. No. No. What size? Wait, is it reprint? Dude, that's fire. What? I oh. think that'll fit you. I think you should try it on. This is fire too. Oh yeah. Looney Tunes? Oh, look at the back. Oh, little Mickey Mouse. Ooh, this one. Got share. That's not bad. That's not bad. Because, dude, these people have to look for this stuff. Okay, this this one, I gotta say, this blue, like, compared to the other place we went to. Yeah. I, I won't say it because I don't know, you know. Oh, no, you're good. Is that, but. Dude. I kind of like this. I kind of like it too. Center swoosh. 20. All right, yeah, let's put this off to the side here. Dude, we're about to clean. This is the first place we found. This is not even what we came here for. Right? Dude, look. Bro, giant this tank. is fire too. Giant, giant tag. Oh, giant tag, nice. Yeah. Who's this? It's over. Oh, the Eagles. Yeah, it's, yeah, just put stuff off to the side and we'll uh, decide later. Dude, this is actually gas, dude. Yeah. That's a good fade. It's autographed. Ooh. That's pretty cool. This one looks too long, or is it, like long? it looks a little bit on the long side, but I think it's worth to try on. Okay. I think it's definitely worth a try on. Yeah. Oh, this is fire too. Dude, this fade on this shirt. I might. Hey, what's the price on this boy? Uh, hundred. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, low key, it's vintage like Stussy. One. Ooh, pile is coming along. <laughs> this thing's escalated quite quickly. That's a sick windbreaker. <laughs> so let's give this one a go. This one a look. Oh, it's too big. It's a fire tea for sure. <laughs> Dang. 
I think it might be a reprint. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite finds thus far in this booth. Uh, vintage Stussy. This thing's got a nice age to it. And I love especially the color. But the price is a little bit high for 100. All right, so, oh, bro. so this is single stitch. Ooh. This is definitely from the 90s. That explains why it's expensive too. Yeah. All right, so got this Nike tee on here. Uh, it's a 2000s tee because it's got a silver tag on it. 40 bucks. Okay, for the print, I would have gave it a, a nine, but it is, it is, it looks like it's a reprint. That shit is vibe. It is, it's kind of, it's really boxy. Yeah. This might even be 90s, late 90s. Just Dude, based if on you, the If you fit. pick up that shirt, I might have to borrow some. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, sh shoulders, shoulders. It is, it is a little snug. It kind of. Snug? It, 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 it comes in like under like your sides because the, the, the shoulders or your sleeves don't flare out as much. It kind of like it, it actually goes looks like it fits. So for that first spot, for the first vintage T spot, mm -hmm. I felt it was really successful. Yeah. A lot of good stuff. I got my uh, purchases here. I'll show you guys at the end of today's video what I. Oh, oh we found oh. it. We see more things. This is like. where we want to be. Oh. Oh. Look at those are all vintage tees. It's bad, good for my health, bad for my wallet. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful fade, Ernie. Nice. Not so nice. Just <laughs> <laughs> looking for stuff that really sticks out here. Yeah, what is good guys? So I was just shopping around the area and I've actually known Juan for a second now But I never got to meet him in person and he just walked in. This is his booth I've shopped his stuff at the other spot. What's up guys? It's Juan from Game Stash here at Urban Circle Vintage here at the main place. Main, main place. place mall. Yeah, so we're at the open market um, And here's our booth. Uh, we pretty much Put a little bit of everything collectibles luxury um, and bitches t-shirts. I see you got like designer, you got the high, yeah. Yeah, like we the got Jordan the... ones. I'm and uh, yeah, it. check him out, Orange Circle Vintage. And you sell on Instagram too, right? I do, yeah. yeah I so do private appointments too. So I'm here on Saturdays and Sundays if you guys want to come in and you try anything on. You guys are more than welcome to come see me on the weekends. Also, guys, support small business. Yes. It's hard out here. So <laughs> yeah, like make it easier it. for us. and. Yeah, definitely check them out, dude. Super nice to meet man, you. Yeah, you too, man. Thank Absolutely. you so much. We got some, a little hype. Got the veneers. Oh, that's pretty fire. I like that. That's right up your alley, because you just got a new car. Nice fade single stitch, Hanes Heavyweight XL. Oh dang, the back's cool. Yeah, it's pretty clean. I don't know how uh, our ladies would feel about <laughs> all that. Yeah, the fade's great, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit too PG-13 for us. Dude, this Honda hat is pretty cool, Ernie. Could this be density? <laughs> Destiny, hello. Oh, 13. Bro, just wear uh, two socks. Bowinkle. Do you know who Bowinkle is? Or is it Rocky? I don't know. Mortal Kombat? This is cool. Oh, look at these Batman teeth. Oh, wow. Single stitch. Looks so nice. That's fire. Oh, this is cool too, actually. Oh, what? Look at all this car art. Yo, I'm gonna have to try this. This is crazy. Oh, dude. I think it might fit. I don't know. It feels like it fits, but I don't know how it looks. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. 85. It's pretty good. Uh, it's a little too snug on the shoulders. Yeah. Just a touch snug. Ooh, spider 
Hancock, Waldo. All right, guys, so that was quite the experience, I have to say. Got my new jacket here. And uh, yeah, definitely check this place out. It is in Santa Ana at the Main Place Mall. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there's some really great stuff, really great vintage. So if you're in the area, I definitely suggest you guys should come check it out. Support your local business, small business, man. Uh, you guys already know what it is. And um, yeah, so Ernie and I are gonna go get some food right now. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what I did end up purchasing when we get over to the house. So I'll put the vlog camera down while we eat and stuff like that. So we spent some quality time with my man. All right, guys. So uh, today's vlog took a quite a bit of a turn. Initially, today's video was supposed to be about me going to PacSun Essentials, the release, and acquiring some new garments. We had to make this video happen nonetheless. We're resilient out here in these streets. This place is called Open Market OC, and essentially what it is, similarly to uh, these antique malls that we've been going to in the vlog uh, time and time again in the past, uh, they have booths for independent businesses. They rent them out to each respective business, and it just so happens that Juan uh, has a booth there, and man, oh man, wow. Crazy, crazy stuff, man. I really suggest you guys go out there. You know, this video was supposed to be somewhat of a blessing to him, and man, that was a ton of fun for me. Found some great stuff, and I do believe you will too. So if you guys are in the Orange County area, head over to Open Market OC. I believe the city is Santa Ana, and uh, you guys will enjoy yourself. If anything less, there's some good eats out there. There's a mall in there. You guys can make a day out of it, and you can shop some vintage. Because not only was Juan's store in there, there was a couple other booths that had Levi's and stuff like that. And uh, let's bring more vintage sellers out there. I know a lot of you guys follow me, you guys watch my videos. Guys, go get a booth. That could be a really great thing, not just for you guys to like kind of help your business and stuff like that, but uh, for me too. Really good content, man. That was a lot of fun. Anyways, that was kind of selfish. Let's go ahead and show you guys uh, what I did get. So first tee is this Rolling Stones Spitfire t-shirt. Super, super gas. Now, I don't generally like uh, AAA t-shirts. I don't like their blanks, but this one just uh, seemed to be aged very, very well. Fits very nicely. And uh, as you guys have heard me say in the past before, most likely, um, I've been kind of gearing more toward, I guess, fitted, fitting t-shirts. That'd be the best way to put it. And uh, yeah, definitely fire tee, no back hit. Next t-shirt is this center swoosh Nike tee. No, it's not the mini swoosh. We have a big Bertha swoosh up front. Did I just say big Bertha? I don't know. And uh, this is gonna look good with like shorts and stuff like that if I wanna go for that like athleisure look. Fits oversized. This one is on a gray tag, which does indicate that it's most likely from the early 2000s. And so for the last tee, we have, I'm not gonna lie to you, a shirt that I was really surprised that I would be willing to pay this much for. There's a very small chance I'll ever find anything like this again. And the color is really unique. The fit's really nice and it is single stitch. And what we have here uh, is this early 1990s single stitch. You don't see this much, single stitch, stitch, Stussy t-shirt. And surprisingly enough, you know this t-shirt is so old because this is a 2XL, crazy. Fits me uh, pretty nicely, actually, in my humble opinion. I do like it a lot. So first off, Juan, I don't know how you do it. This guy's got an eye like a crazy stealthy eye. I don't believe he did this himself. I don't know, maybe you're an arts and crafts guy, I don't know, but this is crazy. Acid wash, it kind of reminds me of like the rude acid wash uh, sweaters, but on a Carhartt jacket. You guys know I love Carhartt uh, vintage jackets. And what is this? This is the craziest jacket, so, so sick. I've never seen, I've never seen a jacket like this. I've never seen this done to a Carhartt. It is a size medium. I always go with a size medium. It does fit oversized. But yeah, this is such, this is this is a staple piece, you know? This is a statement piece. This is, it, it's just so unique. You know what I mean? So really, really happy to have this jacket with a mask in here. I wore it the day I got it. But um, yeah, Juan, crazy find. And uh, yeah, this guy has an eye, man. Oh, and by the way, there is, I think there's three more of these there. Three, I think it was three. But yeah, there was three there. So 
Again, support local business, support small business. Now more than ever, now more than ever is the time to step up um, just as a, uh, just as a community, as a, as a population and support each other in these tough times. I know, man, it's like, if you have the extra money, uh, dude, go and support small business. I, like it, it's easy to shop on Amazon. It's easy to shop on, on all these like, you know, you know, big box retailers and stuff, but uh, they're gonna be okay at the end of this. They're gonna be just fine. Um, if you guys are looking for stuff, if you guys especially are looking uh, for, I don't know, vintage, go support a small business. They're Instagram sellers. Go support. Go support somebody. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm just seeing so many small businesses shut down. People's dreams dashed. Uh, people's livelihoods being taken away from them. Um, especially predominantly here in California. I don't know how it is where you're at. Maybe you guys are uh, totally unaffected. I know that we're a bit more strict than the rest of uh, the country, but yeah, it's it's tough out here, you know. And to run a store. Uh, is ballsy it takes a lot of courage and you know opening this in light of everything that's going on the small gesture the small support that i can uh service these people uh is to feature them and just really really push them bear in mind i i they're not paying me that, that would be absurd for me to expect that um i just i just really really admire small businesses coming from uh, a family of immigrants uh coming from people who really just really put their nose to the gridiron, took a lot of chances and uh, seeing my mom do that uh, and be a small business and grow it and stuff like that. Um, it's just really important uh, to keep that American uh, dream alive. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I totally digressed here, but Juan, um, good job, man. Proud of you, everybody in that place, proud of you guys, go check them out. That's gonna do for today's video. Uh, this one went, this one took a little bit of a turn, but I do believe it's for the better. Anyways, guys, appreciate you. Fun video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Like today's video because it helps more than you know. If you're not subscribed, please, please do so. Uh, the YouTube algorithm, always switching under us. And uh, really the only way to get my videos out there to you guys um, is to be subscribed, turn on post notifications because at times it'll really lag a lot too. And yeah, appreciate you all. God bless you guys. And uh, as I end everybody here at Locust Wild Honey, peace, be blessed.